So please fill, fill in your attendance and then we will go ahead with our uh, next uh, session, which is the hand-on uh, training session uh, for running uh, a test case, square-driven cavity. This session will be uh, primarily taken by our team member, Mr. Abushan Regni. Mm, hello, Abushan. Yeah. So in the next session, we are going to do hands-on session using spoken tutorial. So you are going to do your first simulation in open form. Uh, then that simulation is going to be on square driven cavity. So it's a cavity that is being driven uh, by by a velocity at the very top. So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna provide a link of one of our spoken tutorials. Uh, it will take you uh, I think around 50 minutes to complete it. And if you run into any problems, we'll be there to solve your problems. And at the very end, I'm gonna do it myself as well. So if you are stuck. Uh, don't worry, uh, I'll be showing you how to do this at the very end, after 15 minutes. And a general instru instruction, if you are using WSL, uh, instead of get it, get it is a text editor, by the way, you can use notepad.exe if you are using WSL, okay? So I'm gonna give the link of the spoken tutorial that is that you have to use. So just uh, click on this link and watch the video and you can parallelly do the simulation in a phone okay so now i'm going to start the time i will give you guys around uh, 15 minutes to do this it should be done within 15 minutes and if you have any problems uh just hold hold on and uh, type us in the chat uh we have our team members binayak and krishna and myself who will try to solve your queries and after the 15 minutes uh, i'm going to show you how it's done okay you guys can start. Yeah, so the link is in the chat box. Uh, all of you are requested to please open the chat box and click on the link and start uh, do following whatever is instructed. Yeah, for any queries, you can unmute and ask. Uh, first, you try. And if you face any issues, you can always unmute and uh, ask your query. Or you can also post your query in the chat box if you have issues in your microphone. Hello. Yes, yes, please go ahead. Uh, yes. uh, Ma'am, this uh, control alt command is not working for me. So which uh, terminal is to be opened, like CMD or PowerShell or something else? So I think you might have installed WSL Ubuntu, right? Uh, yes, sir. So you have to open that Ubuntu. That is your terminal. Ubuntu, right, sir. Okay, sir. Yes. Okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, excuse me? Uh, yes, Divya. Uh, like I am see, I'm getting an error saying missing destination file operand after opt. Like when I use cp command. Uh, missing. Sorry, can you tell the... the... Uh, I'm getting a, a missing destination okay, uh, file think... operand after yeah. opt open. So I think you have typed the command wrong. Uh, that means you have not given the destination file. At the very end of that copy command, there is a dot. A space yeah. and a dot. So I think you missed that dot. Is that so? Uh, now I'm getting an error saying... No such file directory. So I think you have uh, typed the spelling, spelling of the command wrong. I'm going to type that, uh, paste that command in the chat window. Yeah, sure. You can just copy from there. Okay. Yeah, sure, sure. Thank you. Uh, excuse me. Yes, Vignes. Uh, sir, actually, I need to find the system folder, sir. Uh, and cavity folder, zero with zero and constant. I have to open that folder. So you have opened zero and constant folder, right? Ah, yes, I opened it. I, uh, I need to edit in that, right? So I think you are in some directory right now. You must be either inside zero or inside uh, constant directory. Maybe you have to get out. Okay, sir. You can get out of the uh, that zero or constant uh, directory by doing cd space dot dot. Sir, I I have opened that uh, file now, sir, for uh, uh, for block mesh. You want yeah. it? Okay, sir. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello, sir. Yes, Guru. So I'm having facing problem of sir uh, opening that folder. So the tutorial uh, folder, sir. Uh, what is the error that you get while trying to open it? No such file on the directory. This. this okay. So you have you copied uh, the file? Yes, sir. So so while copying, did you get any error, or while opening the file, did you get any error? Uh, sir, actually, it is showing that, that uh, uh, no such file is in the directory. 
Okay, uh, are you sure you have typed the spelling of those uh, directories correct? Yes, sir. Uh, you can also copy from the command that I've just typed in the chat window. Mm -hmm. P space minus R. If that is working, mm -hmm. can you check that whether that is working or not? Sir, cannot start tutorial no such file in the directory. It is showing like that, sir. Okay, can so you what are your one command that tutorial and incompressible? So this I have to paste on that. Uh, okay, yeah, you have to copy the tutorial file for cp space uh, dash r, okay. the command. Can you try that command and tell me whether it is working or not for you? Okay. Hello? Yes, Thuru. Uh, is there any way how to view the mesh created by the block mesh? So, okay, there is a way. Uh, have you installed Paraview, right? I told you to install Paraview. Yes, yes. Okay. So, there is a way to view it. Don't worry. I'll show you at the end of this tutorial session. Okay. Okay. Uh, but I hope you might have run every all those tutorial things, right? You might you run the command and then you were able to simulate it, right? Okay. Huh. Yeah. Just make sure that you do that, and we are gonna view it together. Okay. okay. Yes, Calvin. Okay. Uh, I have installed Open from uh, version ten. Okay. So the command like home tutorials uh i'm getting the missing destination file or friend after that that uh, i'm getting so i think uh even in the open room table the command should work mm, okay either you have missed something or the spelling is wrong uh this makes sure that at the very end of that command there is a space and a dot okay okay yeah okay okay, okay. i'll check it i'll check it. okay hello yes Abel. While I'm typing the command notepad.exe cavity system block mesh dict uh, dollar yeah. sign is not coming after entering. Without dollar, it is coming. And in uh, tutorial, it is dollar there. So sorry, uh, while typing what what command again? Notepad.exe cavity system block mesh dict. In tutorial, there is dollar after entering, but. Uh, okay, uh, what command? Just let me see. Okay just see this can you just uh, type that error in the chat box oh you can start at the screen okay that is nice okay, see you are in the run directory and okay. notepad.exe cavity system block mistake uh you might have there is a notepad.exe that is open somewhere right okay you need to close that okay then yeah then, then you how, can use... how do i access the, the tutorial in... G edit cavity. So you if you have a double SL, you don't have a get it. You can also no. install it, but right now you can use notepad.exe. When I'm not using notepad.exe, then permission denied is yeah, that is uh, you don't need to uh, okay, okay, okay. Dollar, okay, okay. You can use use notepad.exe and it will open your notepad. Get it is also like a notepad, it is a text editor. Then I have to go close the notepad. Yeah, yeah, you have to close the notepad. Okay. So this is for everyone while typing the command, make sure that your spelling is correct. Uh, I have been seeing that some of the few of the students have typed your command wrong while doing the CP command. Excuse me, sir. Yes, Manan. Um, I'm not able to install actually the open form after the step four as per the instruction given in the sheet. Uh, can you please help? So right now, I think it's too late to uh, help to install open room. So I think uh, I want you to write us to our, the, our mail ID that was given to the chat. Okay, sir. The contact test CFD. Uh, so you are installing open form 7, right? Uh, yes, sir. I'm installing open form 7 from Ubuntu, but yeah, it's you, not using working. Using WFM or using VirtualBox? Sir, VirtualBox. Okay, what? which is the version of uh, virtual, I mean, Ubuntu you have installed in your VirtualBox? Um, just a second, sir. 18.04. So I think it should work. Uh, why didn't you like check all the commands? Um, in that step two, there are actually two commands. Yes, have sir. Type both of those commands one by one in step two. Yes, sir. I have done that. Okay. What does the, what, what either do you get when you try to install open home? Sir, actually I'm getting error in step four up till step three. It's, it's correct. And then I'm getting error in step four. When I write uh, sudo ap, whatever this command is, install open form 7, 
Okay, yeah. Then I get an error yeah, what stating you that uh, unable to correct problems, you have to help broken packages. Okay, so why didn't you go through this step one more time from step uh, two? Okay. Okay. So there is a two command actually in step two. This makes sure that you try yeah, yes, both yes. of them. Okay. Okay, I'll try. Thank you. And if you still have problem, just write to us. Okay, thank you, sir. Sir, same problem here. Okay, just write to us. Uh, right sir, now. Already, I already mailed you. Okay, okay. Sir, I already installed the open form seventeen zero six for my project work. Okay. But I'm now I'm trying to install open form seven, but uh, having the error like fail to fetch some website from website is coming website name link. Okay. I just mailed you. Okay, you can just mail to us. I will try to solve the problem. Okay. So, Bengate is uh, you are saying is the version seventeen zero six supports. Yeah, yeah. Can I use seventeen zero six for this? You can case? use it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Bengate is is getting block mistake is not working. Uh, if you are trying to use block miss command, it is not block mistake. It is just block miss. So I think Bengal test you are using get it. Uh, we have said uh, time to time again to use notepad.exe if you are using WSL. So anyway, uh, it's already 17 minutes. Uh, I think the, those participants participants who have completed the tutorial uh, can they raise their hand so that I can get an idea how many of you have are able to complete. Okay, we have few raised hands. Okay, if you have completed your Tutorial, you can raise your hand. Okay, so now uh, you can lower your hand. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Uh, if you have not been able to do it, uh, don't worry, just follow me. Since this is your first tutorial, you can just follow me, and in your next tutorial, you can do it yourself. Okay. Uh, I have shared my screen. I hope my screen is visible. Can anyone confirm? Yes, yes, it is visible, Abhishek. Okay. So let me start uh, with our first command that is to go to the run directory. So I'm going to do cd from run and this will get me to the run directory. You can check whether you are in your run directory or not uh, by taking a look at this slash slash things here. So it, it says that I'm in run. That means I am in currently I'm in run directory. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the tutorial uh, cavity from form tutorials. For that, I'm going to use this command cp r then dollar form tutorials. Uh, there's a trick to it. Uh, to not if you don't want to make any spelling mistake, uh, after typing half of the line, you can press tab and the this terminal will complete it for you. Now if I press tab. It's going to complete my sentence like home tutorials. Again, I'm going to do slash and I'm going to do incompressible. I'm not going to type all the incompressible. I'm just going to press tab. Uh, okay. Mm, yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to type incomp and I'm going to, when I press tab, see it automatically completed incompressible for me. So now I'm going to type ico4. And then cavity, and then cavity again. And after the cavity, I need to paste a space, then a dot. This dot means that I want to copy this file into the current directory, that is run directory. Now, when I press enter, the command is completed. Now, if I do ls, you can see that I have a file named cavity in my run directory. So now, to get into this cavity, I'm going to type this command cd cavity. So this will get me inside the cavity. You can see that here I was only until run. Now I have run and cavity. This means I am inside my cavity folder. Okay. Now let's see what is in the block miss. So if you are using Ubuntu, you might want to use get it uh, virtual box. You might want to use get it and then system and then uh, block mistake. But since uh, most of you guys are using WSL uh, and WS in WSL get it is not installed uh, by default. You have to use notepad.exe. 
Okay, so if you use notepad.exe and space and system and slash and block miss dict, you will get block miss dict file. So I hope you can see my block miss dict file, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So as you can see, these are the vertices of my cavity. So since cavity is a square, right? We are doing simulation on, on square cavity. So these are the vertices of each point of those cavity. And this is my block. You will learn about this in the next session. Uh, more right now, I'm just going to provide you a brief description on what is this. So this is the block. I am using one block to mesh my geometry. And I'm saying that I will divide my geometry into 20 halves in the X direction and 20 halves in the Y direction. And in the Z direction, I'm going to only provide one division. That means there is no division in Z direction since this is a 2D simulation. And this is the boundary. So at the very top, I am providing a moving wall. And apart from top on my left, right and bottom, I am using fixed walls. This is just a name. Uh, I'm providing the name fixed walls and I'm assigning those walls to the fixed walls. And in front and back, since this is a 2D simulation, we have to provide empty. You will get um, into this more detail in the next uh, session. So don't worry about it if you don't understand it right now. So I'm going to close my block mystic file and I'm going to do ls. So in my cavity, inside cavity, I have zero constraint and system. In zero folder, we will be we will have uh, our initial conditions and boundary condition. And constraint, we have uh, properties of the fluid and trans and turbulence properties, such thing. And inside system, we have files that controls our simulation. So let's see what is inside the L inside our zero folder. So when I do ls space zero, it will show me the content of inside my zero folder. That is u and p. So we have u and p inside our zero folder. Let's see what is inside the u. So to do that, I'm going to type notepad dot exe and then zero and then slash and then u. So this will open a notepad and it has contents of the u so u stand for velocity and it contains boundary condition and internal field which is the initial condition of my velocity so in the moving wall that is at the top i am providing a velocity one meter per second in the x direction if i were to provide in y or z direction i would have value over here also but right now the wall is only moving in the x direction so there is only one and in fixed wall that is in other walls i am giving no slip boundary condition. That means there is a friction involved or uh, viscosity involved in the other three walls. And uh, the front and back is kept empty since this is a 2D simulation. So now I'm going to close this. So let's see what is inside the presser. That is file P. So I'm going to do notepad.exe and then zero slash and then P. So when I do that, you can see that I have moving wall, fixed wall, and front and back. Front and back is given empty as usual. And we are giving zero gradient boundary condition for our moving and fixed wall. So now uh, let's see what is inside constant. So inside constant, we have transport properties. Uh, it contains uh, fluid properties. Let's see what is inside it. I'm going to type notepad.exe and then constant and then transport properties. You don't have to type though all the command. You can just type trans and then press tab. It will automatically complete it for you. So you see, this is a viscosity parameter, kinematic viscosity of our fluid that is being provided here. So I'm going to close this. Now let's see what is inside system. So inside system, we have block mystic. We have already seen block mystic. It contains information on geometry. We have control tick, FB scheme, and FB solution. FB schemes contains uh, information about what kind of schemes that we have used to discretize our equation, governing equation, the same equation that uh, you just saw in the previous lecture. And in FB solution, you have information on residuals and the way how the discretized equation is being solved. 
Now let's see what is inside the control dict. So I'm going to type notepad.exe and then system and then control dict. So here, uh, initially, there's information on application. That means what solver are we using to solve our uh, problem? We are using IcoFoam this time. So it is listed, listed as IcoFoam. And the start time is given zero second. So the simulation will begin from the zero second and it will end at 0 0.5 second. And we also need to provide time step since this is a transient simulation and the transient simulation is 0 0.005. Now I'm going to close this. So now I'm going to start the simulation. So the command before starting the simulation, I need to mesh the geometry. So I'm going to mesh it by typing uh, block. Hello, sir. Yes. Uh, can you once show me the block mesh dictator? Uh, like uh, my code okay. is like slightly different. So I need to just try it. So uh, you know, you need not to be worried if your code is slightly different. Uh, depending on the version, there may be slight changes. Uh, I think at last, ah, uh, yeah, merge my patch first. Uh, that only I'm getting some errors. Right. Okay. What do you have here? I like it's not there in my. Okay. It doesn't matter because we are not using merge patch pair here. See, if you were to use merge patch pair here, there would be something in here. Since it is not here, the open form is just ignoring it right now. So if you don't have it, you, you need not to worry about it. Okay. Ah, okay. So now before starting the simulation, I'm going to mess my geometry. So I'm going to type block mess. So this will mess my geometry. As you can see, uh, something is happening. Okay. It has messed my geometry. Now to run the simulation, I'm, I'm going to type command icoform. So when I press enter, it will start my simulation and my simulation is complete. Uh, since it's a very simple simulation, it will finish very fast. Now, in order to view the result that you have uh, just obtained, just carefully uh, type this command below. Uh, I want you to write this command down because you will be using this command every now and then. If you have Ubuntu uh, or VirtualBox, you can just type paraform. And this would open a paraform window like this. But since most of you guys are using WSL and you don't have a graphic enabled in your WSL, you have to go through some other route to visualize the result. So just write this command some, somewhere and just uh, type with me. So first command is touch result dot form. Just carefully write this command somewhere because you will be using this every now and then. It is touch space result dot form. So when I press enter, it will create a file in my uh, directory cavity. So if I do ls, I have a file named result dot form, and this contains. Using this file, I can view my simulation result. Now, I want you guys to open uh, this directory using File Explorer. To do that, you have to type this command: explorer dot exe and then space and dot. I want you guys to also write this command somewhere because you will be using this command very often. Again, the command is explorer dot exe space dot. Now, when I press enter, it will open the directory in my file explorer. And this is that result dot form file. Uh, if you are doing it for the first time, you won't get this icon of para view in your result dot form because the windows doesn't recognize that you have para view installed right now. So for that, just care, carefully follow me, do a right click and press on open with and choose another app. Since I've already uh, opened this using previously using para view, I have para view option, but you might not have para view. Just scroll down and click on choose an app on your PC. I hope everyone is following me. I'll just wait here for a while. Uh, just wait. Uh, like uh, after uh, open path para view, what we have to write? Is it touch? What is it? It is it is a touch space result dot form. Uh, just show me the code yeah. once. 
touch space result dot form. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. You you did it right. Once again, I'm going to pause here for a little time. And after this command, you have to give this command explorer dot exe space dot. Write this command down somewhere in the paper. I hope all of you have done this till now here, right? So after that, uh, you were supposed to go here. When you do the explorer dot exe space dot, this window will open. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, just show me that again. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, sir, can you scroll a little bit up? Uh, the last command for meshing, sir, is that. So, command for it? meshing is block mesh. Okay. I'm just typing it here. Okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, sir, can you sh uh, show me what to do after the opening the re result form? Okay, yeah, uh, I'm going to show it. Uh, I hope everyone has cast on till now. Just give me a yes. So, you have you guys have followed me here till now, right? Yeah, sir. Here, like my, it is not showing Paraview app, so it's like blank. Yeah, yeah. Result. So, yeah. Yeah, exactly. At at the very first, you will get a blank thing. So yeah. for that, to get this Paraview, what you have to do is right click on this thing. Yeah. So more option. Other, sorry. Right click on this thing and click on Open with and choose another app. Okay. Open with. Okay, so here, yeah, view. so here also you won't get a pair of you thing. Yes, sir. Here it is yeah. not there. So you have to scroll down and click on choose an app on your PC. Okay, okay, okay. yes, sir. So everyone is following me till now. I'm going to click on this choose an app on your PC, then Paraview 5.11. Yeah. So now after clicking on choose on an app on your PC, uh, you, what you have to do is you have to go to this PC, click uh -huh. on C and click on program files. Yeah. And then somewhere here, you have to find Paraview. You can just uh, click, so, click a file and type P in your keyboard. You will get a Paraview. Okay. And inside the Paraview, you have to go to this bean folder bin folder yeah yeah and here you can file the pair of view application yeah yeah and then click on open yes and click on always once you do that click on always yeah so when you do that uh it will open your pair of view window and first thing you have to do is click on apply uh, click on apply. apply. Yeah. Where where this up? Okay. It's Fine. at your left over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got this. Yeah. Okay. Now you can view your results. So if you go here at this top left, yeah. you can see a P written over there. Yes. You, you can switch it to velocity V. U. Yeah. And you can go to the final time step by clicking on this last frame, zero point five. You click on this, it will show you the results that was obtained in your last frame. So this is the velocity counter. And if you want to see pressure counter, you can just click on P. And this is how you view your simulation result in pair view. I hope everyone was able to follow. So what is that uh, 0.5 time? I am not getting it. This is, this is the time step. OK, but earlier it was showing 0.1. So I mean. Yeah, it's OK, because that was okay. your, uh, 0 0.1. Then you sure. can slowly move okay. to 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and 0 0.5, depending okay. on your time step. So I think uh, we're done here, this simulation session. I hope everyone was able to follow this. Uh, sir, but, can you, uh, did you just uh, step through the time? Can you step through the time steps and see the? Yeah. So th this is just the beginning and the end. Are there yes, intermediary yes. time steps that you can yeah, there's an intermediate time step. Uh, this is a very simple simulation. So right now you won't uh, see any changes. Okay. Later on, when you do a more complex simulation, uh, you'll be able to see uh, detailed changes with the time step. Okay, okay, okay. So okay. I'm going to wrap up this uh, session because we have our next session from Professor Hare Krishnan, that is on introduction to meshing, where you learn 
uh, like how the messaging in the CFD is done. 